in rather more than 280 characters, a U.S. federal court judge has ruled that President Donald Trump can't block a person from his personal Twitter account, at real Donald Trump. Related, U.S. just voted to dismantle important regulatory banking law New York Judge Naomi Rice Buckwald ruled that it's unconstitutional for the head of state to block Twitter users from his account simply because he doesn't agree with them, especially because Trump is a public figure who uses his personal account for political purposes. The case, Knight Institute v. Trump, was brought to Buckwald's bench by the Knight First Amendment Institute at Columbia University last July. The claimants say the president violated freedom of speech by blocking them followers from his account for posting messages he disliked. University of Maryland professor Philip Cohen was blocked by Trump in June 2017 after he answered a text from the president with the words, corrupt, incompetent, authoritarian. Trump's lawyers and the White House director of social networks, Daniel Scavino, said the president had a right to decide who had access to his private Twitter account. However, the court ruled that the president is a public figure who has used his personal Twitter account to make political announcements and that his feed is, indeed, a public forum, and thus protected by the First Amendment. Our trade deal with China is moving along nicely, but in the end we will probably have to use a different structure and that this will be too hard to get done and to verify results after completion, Donald J. Trump, at real Donald Trump, 23 de Mayo to 2018, we hold that portions of the at real Donald Trump account, the interactive space, where Twitter users may directly engage with the content of the president's tweets, are properly analyzed under the public forum doctrine set forth by the Supreme Court, Buckwald ruled. Blocking the complainants from this public space based on their political speech constitutes discrimination that violates the First Amendment, wrote the judge. The president uses his account, which has 37,600 tweets and 52.2 million followers, to take measures that can only be taken by the president as president. The ruling reads, the New York judge, appointed in 1999, offered a solution that Trump simply mute certain accounts, critically. The muted account may still reply directly to the muting account, even if that reply is ultimately ignored. The judge said, the right of a person to speak is not violated when the government simply ignores that person while listening to others or amplifying one voice over others. Given that no government office is above law, we assume that the president and Daniel Scavino will remedy the blockade that we have considered unconstitutional, which the plaintiffs have to request to Trump, says Buckwald.